Hello everyone and welcome to this short span of lecture from the topic of STEMI and today we are speaking about the winter syndrome. I'm sure that many of you have heard about this term and so we are here trying to explain what's meant by the winter syndrome. And here we are going to understand the ECG criteria of the winter syndrome and the clinical significance of this pattern. First of all, how to diagnose the winter syndrome and what's meant by it in the ECG. The winter syndrome it combines that there is an upsloping ST depression with hyperacuity wave. We understand what's meant by hyperacuity wave, of course, more than two thirds of the complex amplitude, as we mentioned in the lecture of ECG and STEMI. And this pattern appears in the precordial leads, with the ascending limb of the ST segment starting below the isoelectric line. So here the J point is below the isoelectric line. So we don't have ST elevation. Why we combine these two features in the ECG in one terminology called the winter syndrome? Because in this pattern, which is an unusual presentation of LED occlusion, this pattern indicates that there is total LED occlusion occurring in about 2% of cases of patients with LED occlusion. And so, the winter syndrome is an equivalent of anterior STEMI, and it is not non-ST acute coronary syndrome based on the absence of ST elevation. No, it is considered as an equivalent or like a variant in the morphology of anterior STEMI because it indicates that this patient, when you will go and perform coronary angiography for him, you will find total LED occlusion. And in most of the cases, this patient will present to the ER with typical chest pain, persistent, and so he is not a stable patient. He is a high-risk patient because he is considered to be anterior STEMI. We can see here in this ECG that this patient, for example, have evidence of ST depression, which is upsloping ST depression, and there is hyperacuity wave more than two thirds of the complex amplitude. So this pattern here, of course, when I see in a patient in the ER, I mentioned this is the winter syndrome. Another ECG here, where we can see here in the chest leads, there is upsloping ST depression and hyperacuity wave start from V3 till V5. And also in this ECG, we can start observe here that this pattern is present between V2 to V6. And so this is also the winter syndrome when I see this pattern. Our question now, what should be the proper action when I diagnose the winter syndrome in the ER? The answer is simple. As it is anterior STEMI, this patient should be scheduled for primary PCI. This patient should be considered anterior STEMI. And don't please mention that this patient has no ST elevation, so he is just non ST elevation acute coronary syndrome, and I will arrange for early invasive. No. Regardless of the absence of ST elevation, the winter syndrome was defined for these two ECG criteria because it was observed that when these two ECG features appear together, it indicates that there is total LED occlusion, and this was an observation finding. And so this patient is as anterior STEMI and should be scheduled for primary PCI. So now at the end of this short lecture, we understand how to diagnose the winter syndrome, what is clinical significance, and our take home message, the winter syndrome is considered as an equivalent of anterior STEMI and as a morphological variant and should be scheduled for primary PCI, not for early invasive strategy. Thank you very much for your watching.